It is Cinder. Frick will be here to suck it. Part four of Modern Horizons. Oh, hey, Cinder. What's going on? Hey, man. I'm just getting started. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, why don't you tell everybody what happened? <laughs> so, you guys probably won't see this until Sunday. But today's Friday. Oh, my gosh. You guys are living in the future. Yeah. Yeah, so... I haven't played Commander in a while, and there's another local store, and they play like, ca it says play uh, casual Commander, and so it says it starts at 5, right? So I get there shortly before 5, and the guy's like, uh, yeah, uh, we don't play Magic until 6. What? Yeah, so I figured, eh, like, two guys come in. And, like, one guy, like, leaves after, like, a half hour. He's like, oh, I gotta go. Like, all right. And then... Ooh. Sarah... Hang, hold that moment. Hold that thought. <laughs> Sarah the Benevolent. Oh, wow. Look at this mythic. Planeswalker. 4-4. Four, four. Creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Huh. Hmm. It is a plus two. Wow, right? Minus, create a 4-4 white angel token with flying and vigil. <laughs> so it makes a Sarah angel. Wow. Dang. That's pretty good. It's a minus three, however, right? So, but hey. Okay, minus six. You get an emblem with if, it, wait. If you control a creature, wait. If you go and treat it, okay. The damage that would Reduce your life total to less than one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can't die essentially. Uh, it does say damage. <laughs> so if you lose life, guess what? Wah, wah. Hey, this is a pretty good card. Yeah, okay. Hey, pretty cool. I think, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, so... So I'm like, all right, I'll hang out for a while here. We'll wait for everybody to show up. And it's just like, uh, you know, I was at the store there, and I was, like, looking at all their stuff. They didn't have, like, a lot of magic stuff. They, it was, like, a store that had, like, a lot of game, uh, like, board games and stuff like that. But they had, like, a bunch of Warhammer and minis and stuff like that. So they kind of had all sorts of stuff. Well, <laughs> and then the one guy leaves, and I'm like, man, when's everybody coming? I'm just like, man, and I'm like, it's like after 6, it's like 6.30. I'm just like, man, all right, I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll leave. You know, go to Five Guys, because I haven't ever gone, I've never gone to Five Guys. So, it's like 6.30, and this one guy's like, hey, man, you're leaving? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, there's like nobody here. And he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, we start at 6. And I'm like, it's after 6? And he's like, oh, it's barely after 6. And I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, this guy doesn't understand What's 30 minutes after 6? Oh, that's just barely, huh? I, I, oh, what is this? Another mythic, guys. It's not the mythics we want. Urgh. Unbound flourishing. Look, look at all the snakes and stuff. Like, is it a hydra or a snake? I don't know. Let's find out. When you cast a permanent spell with a mana cost that contains an X. Ooh. Double the X value. Oh, Hey, yeah, you can make hydras and more hail hydra, more hydras, hydra, hydras. Do, but it's even it's for anything with act like fireballs. <laughs> I'm, I kind of like it. When you cast an in oh, here we go. Our sorcery spell activated ability. If that spell mana cost or the ability to activate cost contains X, copy the spell or ability. You may change your target. Oh, wow. I don't think it's worth. I don't know. I it doesn't it sound like it should be worth money. I I gotta look it up. I don't think it's worth a lot. Well, meaning I thought I looked at the price list and I don't remember this being up there. But uh, I know it's only X, so maybe I shouldn't get too too worked up. But imagine making your deck, you know, with creatures and stuff that have. <laughs> Again, guys, there's so many magic cards to make cards with. What is this? Th th throws of Chaos. 
Look at this guy. He's like, hey, ladies. <laughs> I don't know. Or is, I can't tell. Are they all guys? I, I don't know. Are they all ladies? I don't know. Cascade. Oh, I'm, I'm done reading it. <laughs> I hate Cascade. I, I just, ugh. It's four. So when you cast this spell, exile a card on the top of your library until you exile a non-land card less. So it's not like, you know. Uh, anyway, yeah, then you get to pay without man a mana cost. Put the exile card Exile cards on the bottom of the library for any random retreat. Oh man, it's got retrace as well. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a land card in addition to me. I mean, come on! No cascade, huh? And then you get the cat. So you can cascade twice in the same turn? I'm telling you, I. Pff, get rid oh, see, remember I was telling you guys about unicorns? Look at this one. You know, this is like the. You know, when you're trying to find a date, <laughs> you're you'll find a you'll find this before you find a good date. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta. Yeah, good fortune, unicorn. It is very beautiful. Um, with the shiny. Okay, Selesnia two. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one counter on that creature. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So this unicorn, it's like you come into play, and the unicorn is like, "Ooh, I grant you special privileges." <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, it's, it's a unicorn. Alpine guy. We've only seen some uh, new cards. Uh, all right, three, three for three. Sounds good. ETB. You may search your library for a mountain card. Put the card on the battlefield tab. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, attacks each combat if able. All right, so he's got a. He's like, yeah, come on, I got, I got to attack. Come on, come on, hurry up, come on. Uh, uh, when he leaves the battlefield, sacrifice a mountain. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So he come, he, he's 3-3, three, three, comes into play, mountain comes into play, tap, and then he's got to attack, and then when he dies, the mountain goes away. <laughs> that seems funny. Uh, did we say this one? Del oh, yeah, okay, so Del yeah, we Whether this, that looks new. You, you gain three life, it's an instant. Storm. What? No way. Whoa. Now I know that seems very reddish. Like, it seems like most of the storm decks are either blue, red, or... It seems like is it for the most part, right? But, but, gain a bunch of life. I don't know. It seems pretty cool. Target plan... What? It, did we get this card? Defile? Target creature gets mine, mine, in each turn for each one. You can... I don't know. <laughs> We definitely did get this one. Shenan Why are we getting new common? Uh, common, yeah, shenanigans. Destroy target artifact. Dredge one. What was dredge one again? If you would draw a card instead, you may put exactly one card from the top of your library into the graveyard. That's kind of like. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. If you do return this card from your graveyard to your hand, otherwise draw a card. Huh. Uh, okay, if you would... Hang on, if you would draw a card. Instead, you may... So if this is in your graveyard, and you draw a card, you can... Huh. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how it goes, but... Yeah, little frog guy. The alien. We've seen the fairy. <laughs> Goblin champion. He's a zero one. What With haste? What? Exalted? <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's pretty funny. It's kind of weird, though, because goblins, you want a bunch of goblins attacking all at the same time. So this guy's, like, different. Although it's funny, because he's goblin champion, right? So you, I guess he attacks by himself. All right. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I might go there again um, next week. Now that I know that, like, nobody shows up until 6, but... I don't know, man. It's a casual event, so, like, you know, it was free, but, you know, the one guy smelled, like, guy was, like, smoking, like, so much, like, he smelled like a chimney, you know, so, I don't know, I, because, like, I, I, even though I used to smoke, like, I can't stand it anymore, like, I cough, and, like, I'm, like, it's like I have, like, an asthma attack, um, three, two, two, sliver creatures you control have, whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage, 
to target player. Oh, wow. Hey, that seems pretty good. Again, remember, just... That's what I'm saying. Like, all the slivers just... They, <laughs> they're a collective pain in the butt. Sliver creatures you control have two. Untap this creature. Huh. That's probably like the... Yeah, I know. It's, it's probably not... It's probably one of the least... Uh, ones for... People probably play with sliver. Ah, right, we got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Uh, Gambit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we've seen that one. We've seen that one. Seen that nimble. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we might be done with the, with the comments here. Yeah, so we'll give it one more shot. But, I mean, like, it's a... You know, a little peeve. It's supposed to... Like, got a lot of foil... Uh, counters here. You know, it's supposed to start at 5, and then, oh, whoa, it's 6. It's like, well, then why, why don't you put it on your calendar and say, <laughs> and it's like 6.30, and there's nobody there. It's like, well, when are we going to get started? The place closed at 10, so it's just, I don't know. I, I'm, I think something was going on today or something, but again, oh, come on, why can't this be Force of Vigor? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Force of Virtue. I do like the artwork, though. Look at that. That looks, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Four? Come on. Enchantment? If it's not your turn, all right, you may exile a white card from your hand rather than paying its mana cost? Flash? Creatures you get plus one? Whoa! That's not bad. At least I don't think so, guys. I mean, it is four. But once you get this thing down, every... It seems like you kind of want to be mono-white, right? Because, kind of, well, then again, if you don't get this out right away, then it's kind of like dumb. But, again, this set was meant for modern. So imagine that, right? I mean, creatures get plus one, plus one. Most anthems cost three. I mean, it's kind of weird that it has flash. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey, another talisman. That's the... Didn't we get the Boros one already? Come on! Cunning evasion. Look at this guy. Uh, whenever you... Two. Enchantment. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its... <laughs> really? So if one of your creatures get blocked, you can return it. So like if they're about to die, oh, I'll return it. Right. And that's... It's interesting, but okay, all right. <laughs> Crypt rats. Ugh, we love. I need to make a rat deck. Yeah, no, too many, too, too many, too many, too many decks to make. Uh, this ain't the best of the rat. The I think it's is it Rat Colony? And there's Rat Pack. Oh, the Secret Layer one. I wish I had that one. That was so it's so cool. Um, all right. Anyway, let's get back to Crypt Rats. All right, it's got X. Hey, let's play gr black and green and, and, and play with that one spell. <laughs> or, or one enchantment. X, all right. Uh, deals X damage to each creature and each player. Spend only black mana on X. Okay. So... It's, it's, it's any time, right? Okay. Uh, hmm. uh. Ah, we've seen that guy, we've seen that, we've seen that guy, we've seen that, yeah, probably everything from here on out we've, we've already seen, right? Yep, 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 shit, <laughs> that caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, so what do you guys think? Like, like I said, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting too much, but it was just like, you know, it's like, how long am I going to wait? Like, <laughs> just, anyway. Oh, God, not the... F yeah. Endling. Hey, is this, like, Morphling? Like, Morphling. I'm trying to remember what, how much Morphling cost. It was blue, and it looks just like this. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just like it, but it has different abilities. Yeah, okay. That's funny, Endling. But they changed the color. Yeah, it gains mass until end of turn. So it's a 4 drop, 3-3. Three, three, and you can add, you know... I mean, it's kind of funny, right? Because there's so many creatures. It'll be like it'll be three, three, and it already has menace for four, right? All gonna pay, right? 
And, you know, it's a, it's a playoff of an uh, old card. Endling does, or gains Death Touch. Gains on dying into end of turn? What? What does that do? When this creature dies, if it had no plus one, plus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it? What? Yeah, this is the part that Cole was, was what Morphling did. And Morphling did this. You can give it plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one. So you could, you know, if it was unblocked, you could put damage to it. And then, oh, if you were blocking, you could, yeah, you know. You, you got to see the old card. What is this? Force Frostwalk Bastion. Snowland. All right, so end of turn becomes a construct. For two, makes a two, three. Huh. All right. Uh, deals combat damage to a creature. Tap that creature, and it doesn't untap during... Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's... That's not too bad. Oh, we've seen that guy. Hey, we finally got a different... Ta Wait, did we get this talisman? White and black? I swear we did. It was like we're getting the same talisman, too. Yeah, we got that one. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Spreader. Seen that one. Seen that one. Seen that one. Seen that one. <laughs> That's for the ninjas, right? All right, last pack. Last pack. Last pack. Force of negation. Force of negation. Yeah, we do want force of negation. Like a foil one. Because I'm... Uh, do I have one? I might own one. Um, for Commander, I guess that's fine. But I, I don't know. I don't want to say I want to play... What is this? I, can't, I got a whole bunch of packs with a foil token. That's Sissé. Oh, that's right. Sissé's in this one. Oh, Sissé. She is a good commander. Ah, uh, because she brings out legendaries or whatever. Like, I like Jota too, but I actually like Sissé from the invasion, but this actually, th yeah, I know. It's funny. Th cause this is from Modern Horizons, but it's like, I don't know. I think they kind of loosely thought they had commander. That's another foil. Come on. It's not what we wanted. Uh, a, you, I, I, I don't know how to say it. Influence. Three green. Enchantment. Discard a land. Create a 2-2 two -two green bear creature token. That's all. It seems underwhelming. I mean, how do you make a deck? Uh, again, this is probably meant for modern, right? So... Maybe your deck's heavy in lands, or you're drawing lands and discarding them, making a bunch of bears, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know people, there's like, people just love bears, so... Hey, this seems different. Etchings of the Chosen. Look at this. Is he the Chosen one? Uh, enchantment. Okay. Choose... Enters battlefield. Choose a creature type. Okay. Vampire? I'm just right with white and black, right? Vampire? Or assassins? or Creatures you chosen type get plus one, plus one. Yeah, see how I was saying, right? You know, for three, you know, anthem effect. Uh, one, generic, sacrifice a creature of the chosen type. All right. Target creature you control gains indestructible and end of turn. Hmm. It's not, you know, it's an uncommon. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, I got a little story to talk to you about fact or fiction. Yep. Uh, so, Frank the old guy. <laughs> we love old guys. Hey, thanks. So, um, yeah, they uh, it, it wasn't uncommon. Uh, all I got to say, this card, like, it was in standard. And, like, people, it, it. It wasn't Nessus, again, this is one of those things that the the card in isolation isn't the problem. <laughs> uh, but it was a standard. And, like, it was like, you know, like, uh, you're an aggro player, right? And you're like, all right, you, you know, you take three damage. And it's like, all right, pass turn. And then, like, you know, uh, on your end step, factor fiction. And you just drooped your head. You're just like, no. You know, especially if you had a couple of creatures or whatever, because you're just like, because it'd be like white and blue, right? You know, and they're digging for a, a Wrath of God. But like this card, it was, everyone was like going, why is it an uncommon? It should be a rare. Uh... <laughs> and all the control players were like, well, cost four. You know, you guys are almost killing us on turn four. And 
<laughs> just stuff, right? So, but what was funny was this was in standard. And, like, I'm trying to remember. It wasn't that long. It wasn't banned or restricted yet. So when it first came in, like, all the, you know, at the time it was actually called uh, Type 1. There was Type 1, which would be basically vintage. And then there was, they, uh, it was called 1.5. Um, which is basically, um, legacy, I'll say, because essentially it was, there was restricted cards, and then basically one and a half was any of the restricted cards was banned. So, you know, you couldn't play with the power nine, right? So it was, and at the time, there were so many less cards that were, you know, so it was, it, it wasn't that expensive to play. And basically, Extended was just brand new, which Extended was probably equivalent to, like, maybe today's Modern. Um... But yeah, like, this card at the time, like, pretty much in commons were like 50 cents, right? It's like, they were going for like $5 a pop. <laughs> so, I mean, even today, an uncommon at $5 is a lot. So, I mean, this card, like, it was just like, you cracked it open. You know, it was like, especially in draft, it's like, oh, I got a rare that's $10, but I got a Factor Fiction. And you're like, uh. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know Factor Fiction, so you reveal the top five cards of your library. E easy peasy so far, right? But this is this is where it gets good. So an opponent, and it's funny because I'm trying to remember at the time, I'm trying to remember the actual wording, but an opponent separates those cards into pop. And what's funny is, now that I'm reading it, it, just says an opponent. So like I own this spell, it should really say target opponent. So just an opponent. Like, the, I got to find the ruling on that. Uh, put one, so they make two piles. So there's five cards, make a pot, you know, make two piles. And then put one pile under your hand and the other in your graveyard. Every choice is a joy. <laughs> that's not the original flavor text, but that's actually pretty good. And I'm telling you, at people, it's like you'd see the five cards and you're just shaking your head and you're just like, all right, there's one card that he needs. So you you know, it's like, all right, here's one pile. So sometimes it was like, all right, he needs a Wrath of God. It's like, okay, well, here's one pile, Wrath of God, and here's all the other cards. And it was just so funny because you you knew they needed it. They're like, they just pick up the Wrath of God, put it in their hand, and the one's going to the graveyard. And back then there wasn't that much recursion, you know, or ways to get stuff out of the graveyard. So, but yeah, it just, it, it it's... And then sometimes it's like, all right, there's two Wrath of Gods. And you're just like, oh, my gosh. It's just making the pie. Like, it was so brutal. Like, it, it, this card, even for control players, because control players were like, well, sometimes choosing the pile we take is so hard. And, and it was funny because, like, I was more of an aggro player at the time. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I got two or three creatures on the board. You're going to Wrath of God. You're going to kill them all. And then, like, if I don't draw a card, you know... You try to keep one or two creatures in your hand, but it's just like control was... It, it, it's hard to tell you guys how... <laughs> it's like control... Like, it's... It, control was like fast. It just... it's You had to have been during that time, but it was just... Because you counterspell was legal, right? So if they're on the... Like, if they're on the play, you know, it's like... You haven't even put your second land down. And it's like, oh, yeah, I put my second land down. And it's like, oh, I play this. And I'm like, counter. You should... <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, there goes the game plan. And, and, you know, it's like, okay, I'll draw a card. Yeah, I'll bounce a creature. Uh, you know, no, you know. And it's like funny because then when, like, you play a creature and he's like, yeah, sure. And you're like, and you play another creature. It's like, yeah, sure. You're like, oh, gosh, there comes the wrath of God. And <laughs> it's just, so it just felt like you were just, like, dying. Like, every which way you were trying to do you just you, but yeah anyway this sorry to digress there a little bit so um yeah we've seen this one we've seen that one we've seen that one we've seen that one so, yeah, with any new card seriously <laughs> we this was almost a, so how many times right it wasn't the last card but seriously we're ending the video in this dumb quake foot cyclops get out of here you Stupid Cyclops. I swear, right? Like, anyway, guys. Uh, sorry to babble on with that factor fiction, but yeah, I probably could have a a dedicated video um, about some cards like that. In fact, if factor fiction was like, just, it was almost like, I don't want, it was like sort of meta, meta defining, but 
and back then magic just when they made a card and let's say it was kind of op and it was like pseudo broken they actually took it on the face like it didn't happen that often and if it was in standard they basically said all right fine if there's a mistake because i'm trying to remember tinker um back when tinker came in sta- yeah you guys urza saga like the, <laughs> the whole block was broken but anyway they're like once tinker came in and john finkel it was funny because tinker came in right and no one cause especially back then like making decks and net decking wasn't really it was like the pine you know it was like the beginning right but like once he showed everyone how to you know brutally you know just take this card and just make it utterly broken you know, Magic's like, oh boy, you know. But they said, all right, you know, because they made a point about not not banning a single card in standard. Not now again, they didn't like today. It's like worse, I think. You know, they make a card and it's like they have to ban it within. It's like, oh, it just came out in the new pack, right? And it's like two. Oh, hey, I just bought it. Hey, cool. And then like you know, a week later, it's banned. Like they would have never done that. They're just like, all right, fine for, you know, for. You know, basically two years, <laughs> the card's going to be standard legal, and they would say, you know, they would make it res- like if it was going to define, you know, uh, legacy or vintage or whatever, they they would put it on the restricted ban or the restricted list pretty quickly. Um, but they wouldn't, yeah, they, they frowned upon banning anything for standard. And I'm trying to remember. I think there's only one card right now that's banned in standard. That meat hook crap. <laughs> I don't have that card either, but... Anyway, guys, sorry to ramble. It's magic. It's Friday night. Yeah, it's Friday night! Yeah, but it's your guys' Sunday, so... Yep. So, uh... We got a couple more packs. We're gonna finish it up this weekend, and... Are we gonna open a new one? Uh... Probably? Which one? I don't know. Alright, stay tuned! Uh, we'll make our decision the next video. Alright, see ya. Later! Bye.